What's going on everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood gamer, Hashimoto00, coming to you today with the 7 Days to Die tip video. Uh, I know that you all love it very, very much, and I know I love doing them very, very much. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, you're going to go to Google. You're going to type in 7 Days to Die Mod Launcher. You're going to go to this first bad boy right here, which is going to bring you here. It's going to look just like this. You're going to go under Download right here. All you're going to do is click that. And it's going to start downloading the launcher for you, which is going to look like this once it's downloaded. You're going to download it, install it, and once you do, it's going to look like this. Okay, so it's going to look exactly like this. Now, over on this side here, you have a whole array of different mods that you're going to use. My favorite is this mod right here. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the this guy, the actual developer's um, YouTube page. Uh, he's fantastic. He, he actually makes videos on all of his work that he does with the mod. So you stay up to date. You know what's going on and how he's doing it. It's, it's fantastic. So check his YouTube channel out. Link in the description below. It's awesome. Second mod I like to use, just to say, is uh, War of the Walkers. I find that's... Uh, it's pretty fun to use. Uh, I like the idea of having different jobs within the, within the game, like a gunner or a medic or a builder. So that's pretty cool. These mods both do that. Uh, another great thing about uh, this mod here is that he changes the look of the zombies. And some of them, are, I'm, I'm going to say, they're pretty creepy. Honestly, they're pretty creepy. You got to check it out, man. You got to check it out. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Same as War of the Walkers. It's well done. Um... I personally enjoy them. So, how you, basically, how you install it is like this. You're going to hit Install Game. Okay. Once it's installed, it's going to look like this. Okay. So, once it looks like this, you're going to hit Pre-Sync. Okay. And it's going to do its thing. It's going to tell you down here. Once you hit, When you hit Install, it's going to tell you down here when it's ready. When you hit Pre-Sync, it's going to tell you down here when it's ready. Okay. So, once it tells you down here, okay, that it's ready... You're going to hit play mod. Okay. Now make sure seven days to die is installed in your steam. Okay. Hit play mod and it's going to launch the game. It's that simple. It really is that simple. So again, it's going to look like this to install it. Okay. Once it's installed, it's going to look like this. Pre-sync. Wait for it to finish. Play mod. Make sure it's installed into your steam. And you'll be playing sweet, sweet modifications all the live long day. So, the launcher's pretty good. Uh, check out, you know, different ones that you can. Uh, I recommend deleting uh, mods from here. It'll tell you the list of mods that you have installed or the list of mods that you have. I recommend deleting one to play the other. Okay? So, I recommend if you're going to play this... Delete War of the Walkers off of here, and then install this pre-sync play mod on this one. Same thing if you want to play War of the Walkers, then delete this one, and then install this one, pre-sync, play it. You know, Bob's your uncle. Okay? And that's as simple as it, as it can possibly get using the 7 Days to Die mod launcher. I have a video which I'll leave a link in the description below of how to do it manually in case you don't want to do it through the mod launcher, which some people choose not to. I'm one of those people. But this is the easier route to go about it, so this is why I'm showing you guys. It's, uh, you know, I just used it today, so I know it works. Uh, 2020, and it is November, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take great care of yourselves and happy gaming. Bye-bye.